hello and welcome back to another of my videos it's sabri k and if you're new i hope you stay tuned watch the video to the end then hit that subscribe button if you are a subscriber thank you it's a different setting today i've been sick and i'm trying to you know recover in my youtube channel i share everything i know about self-growth my own journey being in my mid-20s now and just some valuable content with you in today's video i want to talk about self-love i think self-love has been one of the biggest struggle that i had and i realized it's a common thing a lot of us struggle with self-love mainly because we don't know how love looks like we fantasize it or we spend too much time on giving it to other people and we forget about ourselves I would say that my journey with self-love started three years ago. Before that time, I was just, my days were just passing by. I was honestly in a space where I would just like wake up and sleep and not feel anything, like not feel any change in my day. I was waiting for that love that I thought I needed from outside. I wasn't I wasn't really thinking differently. I wasn't really questioning myself the way I, I do now. I was just living in a way where I was waiting for something to change, but I never really did anything for that change to happen. And to be honest, I had to realize that that route didn't take me nowhere because nothing was changing. I was just I, I wasn't feeling good about myself. And that's when I really started looking into self-love and starting the journey where I had to define my own way when it comes to, to love and I had to give it to, my, to myself first. I always thought about it. Why is it that the thing that can make us the most happy is the hardest to reach? I want to start from scratch and give you a scenario that uh, helped me. I once watched the video with this person opening the video with a question. And the question was, pay attention to him. If you could pick one person in your life that you truly and really love and be in their body for one day, so you're now in the body of that person, how would you take care of that body, of the emotions and the mind of that body? Your answer should be pretty much how you would love yourself when i saw this video i was like that's interesting i've answered the question and i made a list that i want to share with you today once you do it that's how i felt once i've done it i was like wow it's not too hard to love yourself we're just not taught we don't have it we don't have that habit in us to whatever we're doing for someone else to do it for us first so, for example, you are in the body of this person, right? One thing I do with the people that I love is I check up on them quite often and I make sure they know I'm there for them. But do you do that for yourself? Literally, that is the first thing that you would do for someone that you love. But do you check up on yourself? And it's not like you have to text yourself. But have you asked yourself how you're doing today? Have you embraced your feelings? Have you realized what made you feel in a certain way? What is it that is going on with you? Like, have you stopped and checked on yourself? Let me tell you the bottom line of this. You are the only person that can make sure you're okay. Taking that example, you are in the body of someone that you love, right? And if you see that this body or, or this friend, this person is kind of tired or you can see that it's doing too much, what would you do? You would treat that body, the body of the person you love, in a way where you would be like, take breaks, slow down. But do you do the same? It is so important to know when to stop. I'm a big believer in act on your goals, you know, daily actions. It's what sets you apart, is what makes you um, progress and stuff. But if you're down, if you're sad, or if you if there's something that is bothering you, it's okay to take a break. And you've I know you would do it for a friend or for the person that you love, but do it for yourself too. 
Now this thing here is the one that is the most challenging but it's the deepest and the mo most profound one. You are in the body of the person you love and what would you say to that person that you love? You would say that they're, you know, they're doing okay, they're beautiful, they, they're pushing hard, that they're doing well. You would say good things. Like how many times do you stop and do that for yourself? Doing this single thing every day and boost your self-love to, to just like double it. No other opinion matters more than yours. So if you think well of yourself, then you will like, you will feel it. You will embrace that. But uh, unless you don't have that opinion, unless you don't tell yourself certain things, you won't feel them. You won't um, like live by them. But it's so easy for you to tell a friend they're doing well and not to yourself. That, that this has to change. I came from no self-esteem, no self-love, or just like lost, completely lost, to whenever I need a compliment, I make sure I make, I make it. Like I, I tell myself, I am not there anymore to wait on someone else to tell me things, good things. I am already a step ahead. I'm giving myself, like I'm telling myself what I want to hear that are positive, uplifting, and also is it makes me feel it, it increases my confidence and it just like th the love is there so you see how like at the beginning i said most of us don't know how love looks like you define it and to me self-love looks like telling myself that i'm doing all right today that you know it doesn't always have to be super like oh push or you're you're the most beautiful no i'm just like you know, I'm deserving of good things. This is a good day. I'm brave. Like all the things that I know I am, I tell myself. I don't I don't hold back anymore. Just by doing this, I know how much love I create. There's another thing that I realized by just thinking and imagining myself in someone else's body. And I know for a fact that a lot of us, when it comes to a friend, we would always or most of the time, make time for them. You know, you need me, I'm there. You call me, I'm picking up. Most of us are like that, right? I'm going to ask you the same question again and again and again. Do you do the same for yourself? Like, do you have the time where you're just by yourself, where you're enjoying your alone time, where you, where you know you're going to either focus on something or have a hobby or do an activity, but it's by yourself? Do you have that? Because you're not realizing that you're placing so much energy on someone else when the right thing to, to do is to have a balance. Whereas I'm, I'm making time for myself and then I'm making time for my friends or for my loved one. Without that time for yourself, there's a lot of things that you're skipping. I've shared it in the, in the previous video when I was talking about living by myself, by being by myself. I was able to understand more than I ever did in my entire life. I was able to understand what I liked, what I didn't like, how I reacted to certain things and why I reacted to certain things. Like it just, and also I had more time to um, improve my habits or just do things that I liked, that I enjoyed. And this is the point. If you don't make time for yourself and you skip, all the way through and you just make time for your friends or for your loved one you're gonna get lost to love someone you have to have that love for yourself first make sure you balance it make sure you have that time for yourself the last thing that i wrote down to to what i would do if i was in someone else's that i love body it's i would make sure that they're well like that they're healthy so physically and mentally and that's the same thing that we all should do for ourselves. When I was thinking, I was like, I stopped and I was like, wow. See how much love I'm giving that I can easily give to myself too? Having habits that nurture your soul, nurture your body are so important. It's not, it's not just a random thing when you hear people saying, exercise, uh, walk in the nature, meditate, move, drink water. It's not randomly said. 
like they te they tested it on themselves they know the results that they get and to be fair once you start doing those things your mindset also is better because you're feeding your mindset with healthier habits it's, it's a chain loving yourself is equal to showing up for yourself what are the habits that they feel they make you feel most loved like to me when i exercise i feel good but also writing or journaling gives me this energy life goes so fast and once i realized all the all the things that i could do to love myself i started doing them and the way i feel the way i carry myself the way my life is unfolding to me is i'm i i feel blessed i feel blessed and i of course there are times where it's hard to to give yourself the same love or it's hard to be there for yourself things happen for everyone but that doesn't mean that you cannot you're not able to give love to yourself maybe it's not steady linear whatever it's not every day but it's there you know it's a combination as i said of checking up on yourself having breaks or like time out so if you need to feel that 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 sadness you're allowed to changing changing the opinion of yourself there's no other opinion that matters than the one that you make up for yourself then just ha making time to to enjoy your alone time your it's just me time and lastly but not least it's the habits that you do daily that shows that you're showing up for yourself and it shows that you care necessarily you're telling yourself i'm worth it this is my worth i decide it every day with the actions i do with the things i tell myself often the mistake is to leave our worth into someone else's hands thinking that it's right if they decide it that's self-destructive there's no one better than you that can decide your worth and it's time you do it loving yourself it's a long journey it's an endless journey i'm sure but i think when you understand just like the principles of how to love yourself then then you're good then you then you will always use those principles you will always find yourself going back to that love this is the end of the video i hope you liked it and if you want to know the four step strategies that i use to ensure self-love for myself grab my free ebook i'm gonna link it on the description and make sure you like this video subscribe to my channel and wait for the next one